All right, do you want to know how to create an epic portal like the one from Tennis? Then in this video, I will show you exactly how I created my version of the Tennis portal effect and how you can do the exact same thing in the most efficient way possible because we will be using a software that is currently groundbreaking and new that is allowing you to do fluid simulations in real time that wasn't possible before. Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ineos Alea and welcome to VFX Explained, the show where we show, <laughs> the show where we show awesome stuff. The show where we dive into visual effects from blockbuster movies or viral videos and try to recreate them. But before we continue, a little fun story. This is Ghent, the city where I was born. Although it's an amazing place, I never fully felt home. I like the summer vibes, the sea, the beaches, the cocktails. Finding my inspiration, taking in energy from the sun rays, I try. Alright, so that was my video, I hope you enjoyed it. I've actually used the LART 150 from Hollyland to record or capture my sound effects for that video. So when you hear footsteps or anything for that matter, um, I recorded that, added that back into my edit and that makes the entire thing a lot more interesting. It brings a lot more life to your edit and this tool is really helpful to do that. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. It was actually a part of a contest from Hollyland that I'm joining in. If you want to join, definitely check them out in the link in the description. You can win some really awesome prizes. All you have to do is record something and the sounds from it and do something creative with the sound effects that you've recorded. You have a lot of options, links are in the description and let's continue with the video. This is actually a part of some new content that I'm creating for the Epic VFX Masterclass. So we're going to see a bunch of awesome stuff on how to create a portal, how to create HUD elements and stuff like that. And I thought this portal effect would be really interesting to share on the channel. All right, so in this video, we will cover the four topics on how to achieve a portal, how we record our footage, how we key out our sounds because we have to be in front of the portal, how we create the portal and how we modify the portal to look realistic into our shot. So the first thing that I have done is record everything on a tripod. You can choose what you want to do here. If you want a moving shot, you will need to track your footage later on. I didn't want to do that because I do this every single time and what is the difference really? So once you have your shot, you bring it into Adobe After Effects and you can key out yourself. For keying techniques you can use the Rotobrush 2.0. It's a really powerful roto tool but sometimes it's a little bit slow and it has some mistakes so you can always try some different working methods and for this case I actually tried Runway ML. It's a really cool tool that allows you to rotoscope yourself in just seconds with some artificial intelligence working in the background in order to key out yourself from the shot and it works faster than Rotobrush but in some shots it does work as well as Rotobrush. So it really depends on what shot you're trying to do. I just wanted to share you this tool so you can go ahead and play around with it yourself. So then comes the part that we have to create our portal and this we can do with a bunch of different tools but I wanted to recreate the portal of tennis or at least I was inspired by that portal and I wanted to recreate it. The portal has some smoke and lightning from the inside that is shattering around and it's actually a pretty advanced fluid simulation. This actually took a lot of time beforehand that's why I never really tried this effect. But now I stumbled upon a software that is actually making fluid simulations in real time and for me that's a big big deal because I know before it took hours to simulate something to try a setting and you have to rechange it and it's just so much back and forth that it demotivated me to create fluid simulations. Luckily I found Embergen. Embergen is a GPU accelerated fluid simulator which is super powerful, creates super realistic fire and just previews everything in real time. So since that I found this software I kind of started becoming addicted to it because you can do so much with it and it might seem a little bit daunting at first when you play around with it because it's all node based. But it's actually the easiest and most efficient fluid simulation software that I have ever used. The good news is if you don't follow with this tutorial, I actually plan on making an entire class on how to recreate this using Embergen because it comes for free if you are 
are an Octane user, this is the render engine that we also use in the masterclass. If you haven't heard of this masterclass, I'm actually launching the Epic VFX masterclass for the second time now because it was such a great success in the first release. So if you don't want to miss out, definitely check the link in the description below if you want some more information about that. But for now, I don't have that much information. The only thing I can tell you, it's going to be epic. So then I played around with Embergen until I got an awesome portal, something like this. It took me a little bit until I figured this out, but this is exactly what I will be showing in the masterclass as well in much more detail. Here is just the progress of how I achieved a specific work. All right, so now we are going to take a look at how we're going to integrate our portal into our shot. So here I am in Adobe After Effects with my clean plate and then my self keyed out on top. I will place my render of the portal in between those two layers and now it seems like I'm behind the portal and it creates a little bit more depth in my scene. What I've also done is turn my scene from day to night just because a night scene is much more cinematic when you're playing with glows or anything that illuminates light such as magic or HUD elements. If you want to know how to create a day to night scene I can advise you this tutorial right here. It's a tutorial that I have made a little while back but it is still the exact same technique that that I use today in order to shift my footage from day to night. Then I played with my portal using some curves and some noise and some chromatic aberration, some glows to just match everything together. The most important thing is that your blacks match the blacks from your scene. So look at your shadows in your scene and make sure that the shadows of the portal match the exact same color. You can actually do that by using the info panel in Adobe After Effects to check if the values of the blacks and the whites are the exact same or if at least they match up pretty close. You want to do the same thing for your highlights and your saturation levels. Once you're satisfied with your portal, what I've also done is added some galaxy images in the background, rotated them a little bit and added some particles using trap code particular just to add a little bit more life into my shot. You can also play with some extra live action stock elements like smoke or atmospheric smokes that you want to add in your shot just to switch it up a little bit. Because there is a fine line between visual effects and reality and what I like to do is when I add visual effects always to add some real shot footage on top of that to make it blend a little bit easier and to make it look more realistic in my opinion. When you have something real in your shot it automatically looks a little bit more real. Alright, so now that I am in front of my portal, you can also disappear in the portal. To do that, I just duplicated my portal footage and placed it this time on top of myself. And all I have done here is faded out my portal or at least faded it in because I want me to disappear. So I want the portal on top of me to fade in into my shot. You can either use opacity, but what I like to use is the gradient wipe effect. This effect allows you to wipe it out a little bit more fluidly or at least a little bit more realistic. It's going to shift out the highlights first and then into the shadows and you're just going to see a lot more variation in your transition to yeah, make something appear. So I use the gradient wipe to animate my portal in on top of myself and like this it seems like I'm disappearing into the portal. You can also add some advanced lightning that you can play around with and yeah, just place them all over your scene to make it look exactly like the portal from Thanos. But for the portal of the masterclass, I went for a more purple magical look and I wanted to do something else and just give it my own twist. All right, so that brings us to the final effect of our portal. Here you go. Alright, so that looks really cool. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, definitely give this video a like and also subscribe to the channel for more. And definitely check out the Epic VFX Masterclass if you are interested in that. Links are in the description. It will open up soon and it will also close soon after that because a lot of people are interested in joining. So if you don't want to miss your chance, definitely sign up with your email with the link in the description below and you will be notified once the doors are open and then you just have to act quickly. That's it. I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, create epic videos. Videos. I've actually captured everything with the Lark 150. Fluffy. 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 F